lot better than being at home with the same four people all the time. That's what one Surrey High School looked like this morning as thousands of students returned to in-person classes across BC. There's still pandemic anxiety as another wave of parents and students head back later this week. Students in Surrey, Burnaby and North Vancouver were among those who returned Tuesday, a month after the province announced grades 4 and up needed to mask up, along with all staff from kindergarten to grade 12. Vancouver school board families are getting ready to return Wednesday, a big day for this father of four. I'm relieved that they can go. I'm a little bit curious how it's going to go with like COVID cases going back up and how they're going to deal with that. To be honest, I don't envy them to have to go in full face mask and, and attend classes. But you know what? It's, if that is necessary, then uh, better that. Well, I was expecting more freedom than last year. Last year was like super tight. Yeah. It's a lot better. Online school, I just didn't feel like I, would, I, could, I could get away with a lot more than I could in school. Like, oh, it could just, go, it could just happen tomorrow. But I like to be more in school because friends are there. The BC Teachers Federation called for tighter measures ahead of the return, arguing ventilation systems aren't adequate. The province isn't requiring physical distancing or cohorts, and there won't be any COVID notices for single cases, just for clusters or outbreaks. You want to have to have a normal childhood as possible and social experience as possible. And this is what was created by smaller classes. Um, and we can be thankful enough. It was a massive overreaction to, uh, to cases of COVID within schools to begin with. Um, and, and now it's not, so, uh, it's not so bad. We seem to have got it under control in the UK. I suspect the same thing is, uh, is happening here. Drivers are also reminded to be cautious around schools now that school zones are back in effect. In Vancouver, Crystal Adaris, City News.